Good afternoon everybody, Charlie here with Red Summit RF and welcome back to those of you who have been following along on this portable Morse code paddle series and have watched the previous four videos. If you haven't uh, caught those videos, go ahead and, and check them out in the playlist. Uh, so today I am going to be doing the fifth in that video series and the paddle that I am going to be featuring today is the American Morse Equipment Ultra Porta Paddle. And so stay tuned and we will uh, get going with that. So I reached out to the owner and operator of American Morris Equipment. His name is Doug, call signs W6AME. And I asked him to give me a little bit of history and back uh, story as to how he developed this, uh, uh, um, this uh, new paddle, or I guess it's been around a while, this uh, Ultra Porta Paddle of his. And he replied back with a, a very detailed message. And I'll put that, I'll make that, uh, all his comments available down below in the description of this, uh, of this uh, video. Just a real brief uh, synopsis of what he said in that email was that he had been developing and creating uh, Morse code paddles for about the past 20 years. But more recently, when he went to Dayton a few years ago, he was checking out a uh, pretty popular uh, paddle that somebody had developed and uh, a lot of people liked. And uh, he said that he really liked the clever design and how it was created, but was less than thrilled with how it felt uh, because it was, it was a plastic one and instead of uh, made of metal. Let me grab a quote from him. And he says, you just can't get around the feel of an all plastic paddle. I decided to design a paddle that fit inside the same envelope, but an all metal design with superior feel. And so Doug has made some really great uh, paddles over the past several years, but uh, this one is, is the smallest of them that I, as far as I know, and also in my opinion, one of the best. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the bench now and we're gonna check it out. So, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I have here the American Morris uh, Ultra Porta Paddle, and I have that sitting next to the Palm Radio Pico. So you can get a little perspective on size, as I have done in the past. The uh, Ultra Porta Paddle is obviously bigger both uh, lengthwise and also in height and in, uh, in the width. So it's obviously bigger. Uh, along with the larger size, it also weighs... Uh, 84 grams with the cable, and that's compared to the Pico Palm that weighs 31 grams with the cable. So the design of this Ultra Porta Paddle borrows from many of its predecessors at American Morris Equipment. It has magnetic returns, has sealed ball bearings, and a CNC machined aluminum closure in enclosure with a stainless steel hardware inside. The enclosure is nice. It's uh, aluminum and uh, has this uh, protective anodized finish on it, so it's it's really 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 nice. Uh, so let me open it up and uh, get a good look here inside real quick. You can see the levers are made of a high quality plastic, I think anyway. They actually might be made of metal, but it looks like a plastic. The lever tension is in the back, in the set right here, and uh, the contact spacing is in the front with these two posts. And uh, let me just zoom in here a little bit and get you a, a better view of this. So the screws are used to make the proper adjustments here on the on the sides on both sides there. Now I'm going to put this case back on. There are a few mounting options offered with these pedals, and uh, you can see in the bottom here, there's these these uh, three drilled holes and there's another hole right here in the middle that is covered by the wiring. So you've got uh, three, four, four, uh, four of these uh, holes that have been drilled and tapped for the, uh, the mounting options that are available on the American Morris website. And let me just go over there real quick and I'll show you what they have. So American Morris equipment, go to their website. You'll see here on the left. Let me zoom in real quick just so you can see. Here on the left, there's the paddle base, the quick mount, and the leg mount. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out here real quick, and we'll go with the paddle base. 
And what you can see here in the paddle base is it's it's a uh, Basically, it represents or it appears to be a uh, jeweler's block of some sort that's been powder coated. So that's an option. Obviously, it has the uh, four holes where you can attach it. You can see the other, the, por the porta paddle itself on there, but the ultra porta paddle also fits this, uh, this option. There's also the, as I mentioned, the leg mount, and that uh, allows you to run a uh, a strap through a piece of metal that has the, the four holes in it and then you can just strap that to your leg again it's shown with the porta paddle but the ultra porta paddle fits this as well and then lastly there's the quick mount it's just a, a, a you know something that you can add to the bottom of the paddles with a 3m fastener you know it's that kind of velcro type stuff that uh, you can use to attach to pretty much anything it's pretty strong and durable in fact i've seen people put put uh, velcro on actual jeweler's bo blocks on the bottom and then on the bottom of the uh, paddle and, and attach them that way. But we have those holes uh, that are tapped and, uh, and drilled so that they'll, we can just use those. So these paddles really shine in, when it comes to their agility, I think anyway. They have a very solid and smooth feel to them. And after bringing... Uh, the contact spacing in a little bit, I use these on a soda activation. And holding them in my hand, I was able to send 25 plus words a minute with no failures other than my own bumbling. So I can clearly feel the difference between these paddles and the other paddles that I've used in the past, including the Pico Palm. Uh, two things I'd mention here are one, my friend uh, Chris and one CLC says that he has had trouble with the contacts failing due to debris getting inside somehow into that enclosure and he's had to open them up and clean them on multiple times. So I'm not quite sure what his problems are there, but uh, that might be something to note. And number two, if you do choose to uh, hold these paddles in your hand, you have to be careful not to place your hand over these screws on either side because uh, they actually end up, you end up pushing the, uh, the, the paddle into the contact that way. So you got to make sure you hold them down below and uh, not up very high. Uh, other than that, this is uh, pretty good. This paddle does not come with a 3.5 millimeter jack, uh, like many of the other ones do. It, uh, the cable is shipped with the paddles, though, but it needs to be soldered on the bottom, and so you have to actually strip it out. Uh, it's it just comes like this, and you have to strip the wires, and then you have to solder to each of these contacts. So uh, beware of that. It's not that hard at all to do, but uh, it is something that has to be done. There's no 3.5 millimeter jack in the back and it does not come with the, the the paddles already the sorry the cable already attached to the paddles so i purchased these uh, paddles on that american morris website for about 165 dollars let me go over there real quick and we'll take a look and and see uh the uh, purchasing options there all right so the purchasing options we have are uh, going to be right here uh, you have to go to the ultra porta paddle and then bring that up and it looks like, yeah, let me zoom in here a little bit on that. So the Ultra Porta Paddle uh, comes in at $164. And uh, that's that includes actually the uh, shipping and it includes the um, the tax. So uh, you get both of those included in that $164. $64. That's actually the exact amount I paid when I bought it uh, several months ago. Uh, you can also order... Uh, with a check or a money order and, and mail it in if you want. But I chose the PayPal option. So when you when you click add, then you'll add, uh, uh, you'll, it'll go to the cart and take you right to the PayPal uh, purchasing area and you have to log in and, and uh, pay that way. So those are the two options you have. So now let's go to the grading of this paddle. And I'll emphasize as I always do that these are my own thoughts and others may feel differently about the performance of this paddle. And uh, so, you know, this is just for my, you to know what my opinion is. And so I uh, take that for what it's worth. So we'll start with the cost. These paddles, I think, uh, are really affor not affordable, but I would say are, are priced right. I'm going to give the cost an A on this one. And the reason I, I am is because if you, think, uh, if you think about it, you always have to consider what you're getting for the price. When uh, you look at a price, you don't just look at, at that in, uh, you know, in a vacuum, so to speak. You, you, rather, you have to consider what you are getting for the asking price. And these paddles are made with excellent craftsmanship. 
and the and with quality parts. So while the cost is possibly maybe even double or more what you might pay for the other paddles that I've that I've had in my uh, in my series so far, or that even even are in my collection and I haven't even reviewed yet, the value for what you get is uh, is is pretty right on and actually is pretty affordable, uh, just because of the quality of the the craftsmanship and how well they perform. So cost is an A. So the next thing on the list is durability. I'm going to give it an A for durability as well. I know my friend Chris and one CLC may uh, may differ in that opinion a little bit. He's had a lot more experience with it. I've he's used it as his primary uh, uh, Morse code paddle for I don't know maybe even years, and I've only had it out on maybe three or four. Uh, well, a little bit more, maybe five or six uh, activations, uh, soda activations. So it's had several hundred. Uh, contacts uh, that I've used with it, but this paddle uh, is made out of the best materials, and the internal parts are made to last. And the paddle is is made to withstand a beating, and still functions. So I would have no problem throwing this in my pack as is. And I think the durability, uh, in my estimations, I'm going to give it an A. Next, we'll talk about weight. And for weight, I'm going to give it a B minus. The paddles are a little on the heavy side for a for a portable paddle. I mean, that's, that's to be expected because it's mostly made of, of metal, if not all of metal, metal, but they are slightly over this uh, arbitrary 50 grams that I set for the limit for a B grade. So I'll give them a B minus. For the size, I think they're, I don't know, about twice the size of a, uh, a Pico Palm, more or less. And so I'm going to give them a B. Uh, they do, they are still quite portable and very small, but uh, uh, a little bit bigger, quite a bit bigger actually than the Pico Palm. For agility, I'm giving it an A minus. As I mentioned earlier, there is no play in these paddles whatsoever. They are very solid and yet very smooth, better than any of the other paddles I've featured so far. Uh, so I can't imagine the agility getting any better. So an A minus. I mean, other than the Bagali, which we'll get to at some point in this review in this uh, series. Customer service, I'm going to give it an A plus. So Doug is a very responsive uh, person to uh, emails and questions. Uh, even when he's busy. So he's very easy to work with. Uh, these paddles are manufactured also in the U.S., and they have a lifetime unconditional guarantee, according to what I read on the website. So uh, I would have to say A-plus on the customer service. Enclosure, they have a CNC machined aluminum full enclosure. So what more could you ask for? They're, they're completely enclosed. Okay, for mounting, I'm going to give this a B. There are several mounting options available on the website. And like I said, you, these, uh, these holes here are, are uh, made and, and tapped for those mounting options. And so a B plus is, I think, well within order. You can mount these on all three of those options. And I guess you could make your own homebrew options as well. I would say that you can't really mount them very well uh, as a side mount or as a bottom mount. It is pretty much top mount, so that's why the uh, the B plus instead of in the A range. So there you have it on that. The beauty, A minus, is very nice, uh, a nice finish, nice look to the paddles, nice design, uh, very professionally done. I, I really like how they look, A minus. Okay, so that's it for this uh, American Morris paddle, the uh, Ultra Porta paddle. Uh, that wraps up my thoughts on this uh, paddle. So let's get it plugged in to the radio and give it a test run. So yeah, let me show you first of all, if you touch right here, or if you touch right here. So you got to be careful about, about touching the outside of the paddle there. Uh, let me grab this, and let me move this radio out of the way here just a little bit, and we're going to go with it. Maybe I'll just put it down here like this and hold it. So there it is, the American Morris Ultra Porta Paddle, and it's a great paddle, one that I would uh, use as a primary paddle at any time. In fact, if the uh, Pico fails on me, this will be my paddle. So let's go ahead and take it back to the uh, to the uh, back outside and wrap it up. Okay, that's it for the American Morris Equipment Por Ultra Porta Paddle, and uh, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget, this is a series. It's a series on uh, portable Morse code paddles. So catch 
uh, that uh, that playlist if you haven't seen those first four videos and don't forget to to check back because I, I'll be releasing about every two weeks to a month I'll, uh, a new paddle. I've got several that I've still uh, have ordered that I have yet to review. So so come on back and I enjoy uh, doing these. So if you have any that you want me to, to review that I haven't covered yet, send me a, a, a message and I'll see if I can order it or, or borrow it from somebody and get it get it reviewed. So thank you for visiting the channel and for following along. I really appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one. 73 everybody.